Hi, in this video, I'm looking at Kassel and Berger Statistical Inferences, Chapter 2, Problem 3. Here, they have given us a geometric random variable x, okay, and it, ha it has this probability mass function, one third into uh, 2 over 3 to the power x, and x can take the values, all non-negative whole numbers, x would take 0, 1, comma 2. And they are asking us to determine the probability mass, probability distribution or probability mass function of y is equal to x over x plus 1. So they have defined a new random variable y and they want us to find the probability distribution of that. Okay, now <clears throat> first, fxx is equal to 1 over 3. 2 over 3 to the power x and like x can take values 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma likewise right what does this really means fxx fx this is simple x okay is equal to what this means is probability my random variable x would take this any of the possibilities this any of these possibilities okay right so you would put these values here, one by one right so you can you can get those probabilities using this formula they have given to us 2 over 3 to the power x right so you can easily find all these probabilities. that's what that's what probability mass function means so you would find the probability that a random variable can take any of its possibilities okay possible po uh, potential values right now they have given us y is equal to x over x plus 1. First, let's find the range of y. Range of y, okay? We, since we know the relationship, we can find the possibilities for my random variable y, which are denoted by the simple letters, right? This would be simple x over simple x plus 1, okay? So, first possibility for x is 0. First possibility for x is 0, right? So we'll start with 0, so this becomes 0 over 0 plus 1, okay, right. Then the next possibility for x is 1. So this becomes 1 over 1 plus 1. Next possibility for x is 2, so this becomes 2 over 2 plus 1, and this would go on forever. Now I can simplify and find the range, this is 0 over anything, it is 0, okay, and 1 over, this is half, this becomes 2 over 3, and this would go on like this, and the common formula would be simple x over x plus 1, and it would go on like this, right, now, now, I need to find the probability, I need to find this, f, y, y, this is in, this is capital Y denotes the random variable, and this is simple Y. This this denotes the possibilities for your potential values for your all possibilities for your random variable Y. What this means is I need to find the probability my random variable Y would take on these any of these possibilities simple Y. Now I know these possibilities, but the thing is like I don't know I don't know anything on how to find this probability value but they have given us this relationship they have given us this relationship okay so i can simply replace this capital y with, with the relationship i know this is x over x plus one is equal to simple y right so let's simplify this and make x the subject or capital x the subject because we already have a formula for this. I already have a formula for this. Probability x equal to x, I know the formula. I already have a formula for this, okay? So I need, I'm, I'm trying to make x the subject here, okay, right? So this is probability, capital X is equal to when I multiply, this becomes yx plus y, okay, right? And this is equal to probability, I'll take uh, x to the uh, left hand side so th when I take x this becomes 1 minus y is equal to simple y 
So this is simply probability x is equal to simple y over 1 minus y. Now, I already have an equation for this. I already have an equation for fxx or probability x equal to x, which is 1 over 3, 2 over 3 to the power x. Now, can all of you guys see the only change is only change between this statement and this first statement and the second statement? Only difference is this simple x has changed to y over 1 minus y, right? So I would have to replace this x with the y over 1 minus y as well. So this is simply 1 over 3. 2 over 3 to the power instead of simple x now it is y over 1 minus simple y right so when you write the proper probability mass function it would be probability f by y or probability y taking on the values of simple y is simply 1 over 3 2 over 3 to the power y over 1 minus y right and you had to write the range of y. y would take on the values 0, half, 2 over 3. It would go on forever. And like the common, common value is x over x plus 1. Right. This is it. Thank you guys for listening. And again, if you have any questions, please post it in the comments and let me know so I can make uh, lecture videos related to that. Thank you very much.